Here we go again, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon. Welcome to the video. Another episode of No Cash Clash. 177 episodes in and well over a year playing this account without spending a penny. That's right. The very first episode of No Cash Clash was released on November 13th of 2019. Here we are in 2021 grinding our way through Town Hall 11. We've gone through 10 Town Halls without spending any money. And yes, I know that's not that impressive. Many of you have gone all the way to 13, but don't worry, I promise we are not stopping yet. We are going all the way to maxed out Town Hall 14, free to play. Yes, it is going to happen. Okay, as you can see in the video, we are still working on the secret code in the walls. And while this is taking a lot of effort, I think that the final payoff is going to be amazing. And I would say look for that in the next episode or two. The final design should be done. In the meantime, yes, we are finally going to upgrade the last mistakenly hidden cannon that was on the wrong side of... Wait a minute. Speaking of on the wrong side... Wait a minute. Did you... Okay, you know what? I'll get back to that. Let's go ahead and try to take care of this Town Hall 12 in CWL. That's right, the fully maxed out 11, at least troops-wise, going in against this relatively strong 12. And while, yes, I would love to report to you that this was an amazing three-star attack, didn't quite work out that way, but, you know, we went for it. We did as best we could, got the funnel going, got the CC sort of kind of not completely taken care of. As notice, the last super minion wipes out my archer queen and then goes on to harass the rest of my troops. As we get through the base, we get close. I mean, right around here, I was thinking, okay, there's a shot, but just did not have the horsepower left in the miners and the hogs. And we ended up with about an 84% two-star against this Town Hall 12. But it was a safe two-star, and we move on to watch a Tesla finish upgrading. There we go. That's right. Sometimes we don't log on after an upgrade is done. Sometimes we sit and wait and watch and anticipate. And then we upgrade immediately because we know we don't want to waste any builder time. We have a final gold mine upgrade going on. And did you guys catch it earlier in the episode? Let me know if you saw the mistake. But unfortunately, I've been a little bit careless with the progress base as of late. And while it looks like everything is okay down here, uh, yeah, uh, we, we've still got one more mistake to correct. Now, of course, as usual, we are trying to compress this base to make it look like we have less and less to upgrade. So there it is, just a tiny bit of stuff left, practically Town Hall 12. And I do think we will be there by next month. Well, hopefully. We do still have 175 walls that need to go to level 12. It is unfortunate because Gold Pass Clash is likely going to get the walls done faster than we could, but we're going to do our best. We don't get the discount, gotta pay that full three million, obviously. You want to use the gold pass to get the discount on the walls if you can, but we can't. So we move on. We upgrade a cannon. Working on these cannons, and yes, we now know they take two levels, so they'll sit over here until they get to level 15. Like that one. Hey, nice. We got a cannon to level 15, and I think we'll probably focus on cannon upgrades for a little bit simply because they do take two levels, and none of the other stuff does. Please. Please tell me the other stuff that you see there doesn't take two levels before it's maxed out for Town Hall 11. All right, so what else do we have going on? Did you see the mistake? We're going to switch back and, yes, make sure we don't make that mistake of not switching back to the regular base from the progress base. But let's go ahead and see who found the mistake. Here it is under suggested upgrades. Yes, there is unfortunately a gold mine that somehow ended up on the completed side, even though... It's only level 13. So got to bring it back down here. And that kind of, you know, is a little bit of a bummer because it delays us a little bit more. But that's okay. We'll get there. Notice we are making sure that every time a builder comes free, we have full loot. And that way we can do a couple of walls before we do a different upgrade. Remember, I never suggest leaving a builder free so that you can do walls whenever you want. Okay, that could save you some loot to make sure that you're not being attacked for it. But if you're a very active player, you're going to progress, think about it, 20% more slowly by always having 
a fifth builder just sitting around as your walls only builder. So we will sacrifice getting raided for a bunch of loot in order to have better efficiency. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the exact way I love to do this double boosted raid with eight quakes. The keys are, of course, A, getting the maximum value from the earthquakes. And you'll notice that we're making sure we breach the outermost wall and the innermost wall with those earthquake spells. And then two, making sure that you pepper the super wall breakers around the base to best make sure that you can also access any other storages, pumps, mines, drills that might be inside a set of enclosed walls. Now, the wall wrecker or log launcher, that is ideally going to target the Eagle artillery. And also something I didn't do in this raid that you can do is don't waste a super wall breaker in that opening where the log launcher is going to roll in and right there, take out the Eagle artillery beautifully. Then you'll notice we just took a few super goblins and set them around the outside on any of those other pumps, mines, and drills that are in the outer layer. Then once you've done that, and that's only maybe six or 10 sneaky goblins, then you wait, you've got these spells slash hero face. Now you could save a spell for the very end for the last group of sneaky goblins, just in case. But as you can see right here, we're going to send them in after those storages that are still left once the clan castle deploys and the heroes have done the bulk of their job. Then you're likely going to end up with extra sneaky goblins every single raid because your heroes are going to do a great job wiping out the interior as hopefully your log launch or bowlers or whatever you choose to bring did. Here you go. The Archer Queen is done. We have 47, 47 sneaky goblins left. And as you can see, just the town hall. So we try to approximate because we don't want to waste too many of them. I decided that eight was the ideal number to go running in here. Yes, they would get exposed by the time they got to the core, but they are so strong against that town hall that they got the job done. That was only eight sneaky goblins. 38 are swagged or left behind. Notice the perfect raid. All of the loot was stolen. And again, what you could do with this raid is do this wipe out a base, two-star it, and then go back, use the leftover sneaky goblins to snipe in the next raid or two, pick up a ton of loot, don't worry about trophies, rinse, repeat, and you're never really going to lose trophies. Notice that we're in Master 2 right here. This is the range that I suggest for a Town Hall 11, probably Master 2 to Crystal 1 seems to be amazing. People ask me how I keep finding these millionaire raids, they're really easy to find in this trophy range. Okay, here we go. Yes, it is finally time to upgrade the neglected Lava Hound to level two. Someday we will use you, but for now we're just doing it because, well, we have a ton of Dark Elixir that we don't really need to spend anywhere else other than on the super troops, of course, which you have to remember is basically earning us more walls, right? You can't spend Dark Elixir on walls, but you can spend Dark Elixir to boost those troops and then save elixir by training those and then you know the whole transitive property of equality by saving here you're not spent oh, anyway you know more walls yes okay so we got some more walls done and we're definitely getting through the walls faster than i feel we were before but again not fast enough we need to get the star bonus that's also something to remember when you're raiding get in there go ahead and take that town hall down for the additional stars so that you get the star bonus as you see we need to get four more stars today but we're going to do some walls first instead now again being very careful about which walls we do if you guys know what this is going to spell yet please let me know down in the comments and i can promise you no it is not going to spell out use code galadon you guys have probably had that drilled into your heads enough by now maybe or maybe not. I don't know. Well, either way, I didn't talk about it this episode. Not going to talk about use code Galadon at all. Okay, it is time to go to the status report where we review the fact that we've lost a couple of hundred trophies. But that's okay. Like I said, we're still hovering in that Master 2 to Crystal 1 range that feels really good finding many, many raids that are over a million of each resource. Yes, gems continue to go north and the heroes continue to stagnate at maxed out level. Uh, my favorite word right now is confluence, and our next goals are to try to get to Town Hall 12 by April 1st. And thank you, Galifan, for sticking around all the way through the end of the episode. You know I love thinking about it. Appreciate every single one of you every single day, so get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, be kind to other people, animals, and the planet, and I will see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks! Galito! Galito!
of confluence. The junction of two rivers, especially two rivers of approximately equal width. 